Hello, I'm Tina Maze and I would like to welcome you to our Tender Insider for this season. Today we are in Sölden and I would like to welcome you to a conversation with Michi Kirgas. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How much were you skiing when you were a kid? Were you like, did you have just some days in the summer or were you skiing all the time? When I was a kid? Yes, in <sighs> summer. It's so long ago. <laughs> My ski club, we always started at the uh, Austrian um, National mm -hmm. Celebrity Day, uh, 26th of October, and always at Kitzsteinhorn. Yeah. And then again, I think in the middle of November, a few days on, on Dachstein Gletscher, but much days. You know, you just need some good days, really with nice conditions, where you really can push and where you get the feeling, mm -hmm. and then it's all right. Are you 100% controlled? when you're skiing, in your mind, or do you push your limits? I pushed it always, and then uh, I really got bad crashes and nothing happened. When you crash and nothing happens, you lose the respect. Yes. And that's the bad stuff. Mm -hmm. Because then you think, so, hey, I'm God, nothing can happen. Are you sure when you were injured that you were 100% controlled, that you knew what your body is capable of, what your mind is capable of? Or? When I was on downhill training, I know, um, 2009 in Davis, and uh, I was pretty fast. And then there was the big jump at the Traverse. And I think it was 40 meters, and I was a little bit at backside, and then the ski ends. Hit yeah, hit the in the snow. snow and then my knee totally injured and since then when you train on snow you try to push. But there is something blocking you. There's something blocking. I was convinced that Anna is no, knows herself that good that she will not go over it but what happened this time it's really I was really shocked I don't know. I saw the, the video, it was a pretty good run and it was just a little bit too straight and then a little bit too much on the inside and, and, and it's, it's, it's the shittiest way of crash, just inside slipping away and then in the, in the slip snow where the, the ski is uh, pushed again. And it's bad, I mean, I think that's a really hard to understand and to feel it and that's why injuries happen. It was really tough for me the first three gates. I really for every gate so do I mean right? And, and, and that's not that's not allowed in skiing. You know, thinking do him do him I right or not? It's not allowed. You have to be hundred percent. I know what I'm doing and over. Maybe if that happens on the race, it's even harder because you have to to do the race. And how do you eliminate that thoughts that are going through your mind in that moment? Maybe we don't think about it two minutes before we start and five minutes after we were in the finish. But then the whole day, I think we were thinking about the crash and, and how they are, how she is doing or, or, or what happened or, or do we know some news. I think that's maybe the difference. I think we, but I think that's, that's automatic that you, when you are in your skis again and you prepare for the run, that you are in you and not look around. I think so. I don't know. I don't really think about this just now we're talking about, but I, I didn't know. Mm -hmm.